On the morning of June 30th, 1908, something extraordinary happened over the vast wilderness of Siberia. A blinding fireball streaked across the sky, followed by a deafening explosion that flattened over 800 square miles of forest, an area nearly the size of New York City, yet no impact crater was ever found. What caused this cataclysmic event? Was it a meteor? A comet? A secret experiment? Or something even more mysterious? Join us as we unravel one of history's greatest unsolved mysteries, the Tunguska event. Section 1. The Day the Sky Exploded It was 7.14 a.m. when the peaceful morning silence was shattered. Witnesses described seeing a column of bluish light, brighter than the sun, moving across the sky. Moments later, a massive explosion rocked the Earth, creating shockwaves that could be felt thousands of miles away. People in nearby villages were knocked off their feet. Windows shattered and fires broke out across the taiga. But what makes this event even stranger? No one died in the blast. The Tunguska region was so remote that the explosion, while powerful enough to be seen from hundreds of miles away, didn't directly strike a populated area. And when scientists finally arrived decades later, they discovered something truly baffling. There was no impact crater. Section 2. The Search for Answers Despite its massive scale, the Tunguska event remained largely unexplored until 1927, when Russian scientist Leonid Kulik led an expedition to the site. What he found was astonishing. Millions of trees were flattened in a radial pattern, all pointing away from a central location. The ground showed signs of extreme heat, but no evidence of a meteorite or crater. Some trees stood upright but were stripped of their branches, a phenomenon seen in nuclear blasts. So what could have caused this kind of destruction without leaving a trace of an impact? Section 3. Theories and Explanations Over the years, scientists, historians, and conspiracy theorists have all put forth explanations, some grounded in science, others more out there. 1. The Meteor Airburst Theory the most widely accepted explanation is that a meteoroid or comet entered Earth's atmosphere and exploded mid-air. The object, likely 50-60 meters, 160-200 feet wide, was traveling at tens of thousands of miles per hour. The extreme friction with Earth's atmosphere heated it to thousands of degrees, causing it to vaporize and explode before impact releasing the energy of 1,000 Hiroshima bombs. This would explain the lack of a crater and the incredible heat damage seen at the site. But why haven't we seen more events like this? Actually, we have on a smaller scale. In 2013, the Chelyabinsk meteor exploded over Russia, shattering windows and injuring over 1,500 people. It was only about 20 meters wide, a third the size of the Tunguska object. If the Tunguska event had occurred over a major city, it would have completely wiped it out. 2. The Comet Hypothesis Some scientists believe the object wasn't a meteor, but a comet, made mostly of ice. A comet's icy nature would explain why there were no fragments found. It simply vaporized upon entry. This theory aligns with the fact that witnesses saw a glowing streak in the sky, similar to what's seen in comet trails. 3. The Nuclear Explosion Theory now, here's where things get strange. Some have suggested that the Tunguska blast resembled a nuclear explosion before nuclear bombs even existed. The blast pattern, the intense heat, and the reports of a glowing sky for days afterward have led some to theorize that it was an extraterrestrial explosion, perhaps even a malfunctioning alien spacecraft. While there's no solid evidence to support this, it remains one of the more intriguing theories. 4. Other Outlandish Theories A black hole briefly collided with Earth, leaving no trace. Or, a chunk of antimatter from space annihilated upon contact with Earth's atmosphere. While these theories border on science fiction, they show just how mysterious the Tunguska event truly is. Section 4. How Tunguska Changed the Future The Tunguska event was a wake-up call, a reminder that Earth is vulnerable to cosmic impacts. In the last few decades, scientists have taken planetary defense more seriously. NASA and other space agencies now track near-Earth objects, NEOs, to predict and prevent future impacts. The DART, Double Asteroid Redirection Test Mission, 
launched in 2021, successfully tested whether we could deflect an asteroid, potentially saving humanity from an extinction-level event. Advances in asteroid detection have helped us locate thousands of potentially hazardous objects in space. But here's the scary part. There are still many we haven't found. Could another Tunguska-like event happen again? Absolutely. In fact, astronomers estimate that objects the size of the Tunguska meteor hit Earth every 600-1,000 years. It's not a question of if, but when. Conclusion in the Tunguska event remains one of Earth's greatest unsolved mysteries. Was it a meteor? A comet? A nuclear-like explosion from an unknown source? We may never know for sure. But one thing is certain, it changed the way we look at the universe and our place in it. What do you think happened that fateful morning in 1908? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed unraveling this mystery, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Thank you for watching, and remember, the next Tunguska-level event could be closer than we think.